says the levy is meant to help a majority of Kenyans not only get houses but also create jobs. Let's listen in. Wale ambao watafaidika na hii fund ni watoto wa Kenya. Pengine hata mtoto wako ni mmoja wao ambao watapata ajira. Si ni kweli? Kama hata pata ajira kwa mjengo, pengine yeye ni quantity surveyor. Pengine yeye ni fundi. Pengine yeye anafanya kwa factory ya simiti. Pengine yeye anafanya kwa factory ya chuma. Pengine yeye ni transporter. Pengine yeye anauza kwa hardware. Kwa sababu hiyo watu wote watafaidika na hii mpango. Mnanielewa? Iko makosa tukichangia watoto wetu wa Kenya milioni moja wapate ajira kila mwaka. Iko makosa tumefanya. That is all we are saying. Ili huyu mjamaa si mmesikia huyu mungwana? Huyu mungwana ni mtu wa jua kali. Huyu namjua. Saa hii ako na nyumba pale Park Road. Mahali wadosi wanakaa hata yeye ako hapo. Kwa sababu ile nyumba anaishi tumepunguza tumepunguza gharama ya kujenga. Nyumba ambayo ingetukarimu shilingi milioni kumi na tano Sasa hiyo nyumba inatugarimu ina, ina, ina shilingi milioni tatu We have brought it down We have removed the cost of the land We have removed the taxes We have removed the, uh, reduced the cost of the construction So that we can have a country where all of us are equal Na unajua mimi sitaki kwa mtu muongo Nilisema tutapanga ajira ya vijana wetu Na hiyo ndiyo mpango tupange ajira na nilikuwa na hawa watu wote nilikuwa na wabunge hawa si tulisema mheshimiwa mheshimiwa tutapanga ajira ya watoto wetu sasa mziniruke vipi <laughs> tuko pamoja katika hii safari mpaka tupange ajira ya hawa watu wa embu watu wa embu tunaelewana tunaelewana ndio nasema tuwe na hii mpango ya housing tuwe na mpango ya value addition agro processing na hiyo ingine tuwe na mpango ya digital jobs ili tuhakikisha kwamba tunapanga ajira ya vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya because it is urgent for us to have a plan on how the millions of young people in Kenya have an opportunity to work for themselves to work for their families and to contribute their energy their talent and their expertise in driving the economy of our country the azimio la umoja one kenya leadership is attending a prayer service